What's going on YouTube? Giosna right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for the Fugu 15 jailbreak. Important updates have been released by OPA334 and they are now available fixing major issues with the jailbreak and of course making the jailbreak so much better. So if you're running Fugu 15 Max jailbreak definitely update. We're gonna get into that in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by PassFab iPhone Unlock, a software that allows you to easily unlock your iOS screen passcode. If you forgot it you can reset it by resetting the device. You can remove the Apple ID if you forgot it and even remove the screen time passcode or bypass MDM. Now if you set for example an accidental passcode or a screen time passcode and stuff like that and you no longer remember it or maybe your kid set one and they no longer remember it and stuff like that, you can easily reset that and reset the device to get it back working and this supports iOS 16 as well. Do keep in mind that any data that is not backed up to iCloud or to a computer might be lost but the device will be reset and you will be able to use the device normally. They currently have a giveaway. 20% off Happy Easter sale that you can check out on their website in here. It also works with MDM as I said if your device is stuck on MDM and it says it's managed by a company and stuff like that you can easily use this as well. Definitely check the program out. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS and a free trial is available. Fugu 15 Max jailbreak developer OPA334 posted that two new updates are available. First the beta 5 and then the beta 6 which are now available on GitHub. For those of you who are unaware Fugu 15 Max is completely open source available here on github and you can see the entire progress. And yes Fugu 15 Max does support tweaks thanks to LKit so you can run tweaks and themes and tweaks started to be updated for rootless jailbreaks which means that you now finally have tweaks to actually use. But this jailbreak is still in development and you should know that there are still bugs and issues with it. However the releases did indeed add a lot of features. So as you can see here two days ago beta 5 and the changelog it says in here add support for user space reboots. This is very important. Then fix autofill not working after respring, fix function hooking and tweak injection into processes with very hard sandboxed for example web content, fix some device and version combinations not being supported for example iPad 8 on 15.1, update bootstrap to the latest, improve system wide hooks to always respect safe mode and keep library out of driver kit, prevent tweak injection into processes that could use fork as hooking C functions in a process currently breaks fork from working, a proper fix for this is still pending, add default repos like Cherries, Havoc, Elkit.space and Big Boss, fix memory leaks in jailbreak D, fixes SSH as mobile, GB update functionality, delete more Sheena A15 jailbreak leftover and lots of stability improvements. So not only there are a lot of fixes in here there are also stability improvements in this update. So the beta 5 was a huge update that came two weeks after the beta 4 so a lot has changed. But then yesterday they released this public beta 6 which only has one item on the line in here only one fix. It fixes some memory corruptions in the system wide and launch the hooks. Should fix the init proc exited random panic. So this is also a stability improvement and of course this makes the jailbreak so much better. In the meantime while editing this video another public beta was released, the public beta 7 and this one is a small update which essentially fixes SetuID properly, fixes new term and probably other stuff. It also transitions to stable Cilio which is version Cilio 2.4 only installed on the new bootstrap however. So if you're going to use the public beta 7 you're going to have to re jailbreak with this new update so beta 7. Now if you go ahead in here on the assets you can find the IPAs and of course the source code so definitely check this one out as well. The jailbreak itself as I said works on iOS 15.0 up to 15.4.1 on all modern devices which means A12 plus iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, 11, 12, 13, 14 stuff like that. So these versions in here are all supported 15.0 all the way up to 15.4.1 you can replace Sheena A15 jailbreak with this one, it would work just fine. Both jailbreaks are rootless, so the same tweaks should work on both. So yep, that's basically it. Definitely go ahead and update right now. This is a huge update containing lots of fixes and a lot of important features that were missing from the jailbreak. It's still in development, it's still not very recommended for the general public, but if you want to try it out anyways, it should be so much better than the initial betas. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow. Till the next time, peace out.